Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. Um, I have for you my final order of some it, of my homeworks candles. They've been trickling in here and there. These are the ones that I've ordered the sum over the summer, and when the new ones came out in the fall, they shipped October the uh, sorry uh, September the twentieth. So they're coming in dribs and drabs, but this is the last drib and drab I'm done after this. So let me show you what I got. Um, so uh, the first, and these are all in duos, and the first duo I got was Cranberry Pumpkin Cake, which I am super happy to get. Um, and I actually am on wait list for another order if they ever come back, because I do want another set. This is Cranberry Pumpkin Nutmeg and Ginger. And is a very beautiful, like wine colored wax, cranberry colored wax. Oh, this is so good. It is so bakery cake, but you get a tart cranberry in it. A little bit of pumpkin. And I do get the nutmeg and clove um, a little bit. Um, oh, nutmeg and ginger. But I'm hoping it'll come out more when it's burned. I'm not getting any cinnamon at all, which is great. But I am getting like a cranberry cake, and it smells so good. And this label is just so freaking inspiring. I just want to make this cake. I just want to make that cake right now, and I'm going to make it. Um, so that is really good. And, you know, for the most part, well, I don't know anybody that hasn't given a positive review on that one. That is really good. The next duo I got is Candy Cane Kisses, and this is a repurchase for me. I had a set last year. It came with, um, it came with Holiday Something, maybe, or Trim the Tree, perhaps. I can't remember. Um, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is peppermint crystallized sugar and candied vanilla. If peppermint is your thing, vanilla peppermint, you really need to get this candle. And as far as I know, it's still there it's, it didn't sell out or it wasn't on wait list or anything this is the strongest peppermint vanilla scent i've ever had bar none candle wax melt anything this is the strongest the best a couple of weeks ago my friend came over and we cooked uh curry shrimp on saturday night and he just kept adding garlic adding garlic adding garlic it's like that is enough garlic he said no we need more garlic my house i woke up in the middle of the night and i could smell garlic in my house in the middle of the night it woke me up it was horrendous this is what cleared that garlic out of my house oh i just love it so so much i love that one yeah so if you like peppermint uh and vanilla you need to get this just just trust me on that you just need to get that one uh, so that's a repeat. The cranberry pumpkin cake is new. This duo is new pumpkin gingerbread. It came in a set of two gingerbread candles, but they're different. Um, and this is pumpkin gingerbread, brown sugar, nutmeg, and hazelnut. Um, and these ones have the gold lid, which I really, minus the fingerprints, of course, um, which I really, really like the gold lids. And then the border around the label also is gold. I just really think these are really pretty. I like those. Okay, uh, so what did I just say? Because I have forgotten now. Pumpkin, gingerbread, brown sugar, nutmeg, and hazelnut. Definitely I'm getting the spices first. But it does smell like, it smells like pumpkin bread. Like Starbucks pumpkin bread. Maybe this is a little more spicier than that, but it definitely it's down that lane of pumpkin bread, gingerbread with the spices. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Yes, I would agree to all that. Pumpkin, gingerbread, brown sugar, nutmeg, and hazelnut. That's really good uh, because in the fall, I usually make uh, pumpkin bread and take it to work. And it's very similar to that. I'm not saying it's the same, but it's it's similar to that. I'm definitely I'm getting pumpkin cake vibe. Um, trying to distinguish between pumpkin bread and gingerbread. I guess it's gingerbread because of the spices. 
I really like that one. I know there was kind of a division about this candle. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I like it. And the other one in that duo is glazed gingerbread. And this one kind of has more of like a gold plaid. I just really like it. So these definitely are gonna be keeper, keeper candles to repurpose. Ice gingerbread, brown sugar, Grand Marnier, and ginger. Now, Grand Marnier is a liqueur and it has orange in it. Hmm. I am getting a kind of a Grand Marnier boozy note. Maybe a little bit of ginger or a little bit of something spicy. Ginger, okay. I'm not getting a really pronounced gingerbread or kind of pastry or bakery note. I'm getting that uh, Grand Marnier is coming out first. Uh, I'm gonna have to melt this and see, see where we go with that. It's not horrible, but I like the other one better. I do like the other one better. Okay, um, and so then we move on to uh, Autumn Bonfire, which is crackling firewood, amber embers, sandalwood, and dark cranberry. Now, the thing with this one is, uh, let's see the label, where is it? Right there. Um, the thing with this is, a, it's a gorgeous label, and when it burns, you're gonna be able to see, you know, this the fire is gonna light up at night. So that's gonna be pretty. Originally, when these came out, when did they come out? Christmas in July, maybe, I think. I had it in my cart. I had a lot in my cart. And then, early September, when I knew that all these candles were gonna be coming, I went through my cart, I deleted some things, um, and added others. Um, but this is one of the ones I took out. Well, then when they started shipping and people were getting and people were getting them to review, it was getting really, really positive reviews. So I said, oh, okay, I'll add it back in my cart. And I did. So, but now that I have it, I mean, what is wafting out at me first is amber. And I am not a fan of amber. Not a fan of amber. I definitely like the winter fireside better than this one. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting the amber slash sandalwood first. I'm not super getting the crackling firewood or the cranberry. Because to me, um, my nose, I'm sure it's not, I'm not the only one. When something is, uh, for some reason, my nose always picks out the, the scent that I'm not keen on first. So uh, I'm gonna give it a fair shake. I'm gonna burn one uh, and we'll see how it goes. I'll give it a fair shake. Not my favorite though out of this batch so far. Definitely, and as I said before, if you like them with the, more of a fireside note, I get more of the smoky fireside from winter fireside and I do like that one better. I like it a lot better. Okay, and then finally the last collection which is one of the ones that I had taken out and then I ordered it again. I put it back in and that is the Woodland Collection. And I would be lying if I said that I did not order these just based on the aesthetics alone for this hobnail can for the hobnail jar. Is that like beautiful? Um, so yeah, the jars are beautiful and so hopefully the scents will be just as beautiful. Then I won't have to feel bad about ordering them just for the jar. So this is a new, uh, jar for Harry. This is not, um, they did, he did not have the whole, the hobnail last year, which I really, really like. I really, really like this. Also new about this candle is the lid converts to a, whoops, a base. So you can, um, the, you put the, um, the candle on the lid to make a base for it. Okay. Whoops. Enough about that. And these also, of course, will be re, uh, you know, repurposed, uh, jars as well. 
mountain sage, smoked vetiver, white cedar, and clementine zest. And so I already know from uh, the reviews that people have had that both of these are slightly cologne -y, but they're fresh, they're getting great reviews, and so we will just see how this is. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. Definitely outdoors, fresh air, clean. Oh, yes, it is. Um, it is a slightly cologne note or maybe even like a fresh shower gel, like fresh out of the shower with a nice clean shower, shower gel. Oh, yeah, that is really good. I really like that one. Mountain air. Yeah, I can see that spot, spot on. Uh, cedar, maybe a little bit of a woodsy note. Not really, I'm getting no clementine right now. But again, I'm not too concerned because uh, when I burn them, other scents will come out. But uh, on first sniff, this is really, really good. And the other one is, um, let me see, Woodland Cabin. Nordic spruce, cypress, and frosted mint. So I'm anticipating this to be more of like a tree scent, like a, oh, that also is really good, wow. Definitely I'm getting, I'm getting, you know, that Christmas tree scent kind of, but it's not astringent, it's not overbearing, it's, uh, oh, very nice. Really nice, clean Christmas tree outdoors. Uh, the mint. Mm, not really picking up any mint right now. Oh, that's really good. I really, really like that. Um, I like both of these ones, actually. So uh, those are my thoughts on some more of these Homeworks candles in case you were thinking that you might want to order some. Um, so let me tell you that my favorite out of the bunch is... Um, the cranberry pumpkin cake is really good, but I'm gonna have to say that this is my favorite. This one right here in the Woodland collection with this hobnail glass, which is super, really, really pretty. I really love this hobnail glass. Uh, so if I were to order another set, I would, def I would order this set again, hands down. I wouldn't even think twice about it. I would order that set again. Uh, my least favorite of the bunch, I'm going to say, is the Autumn Bonfire because that has that strong amber note. And for me, that's just not a scent that I enjoy so much if it's super strong, you know, if it's in small doses. Um, but having said that, many, many, many people love this candle. I'm in the minority when I say that I don't love this candle. So if you like amber scents, if you love amber scents, I definitely would recommend this candle for any of you amber lovers out there. And for any of you peppermint lovers, I would definitely recommend Candy Cane Kisses. I definitely will recommend this for sure. Um, so that is my little final, final um, Homeworks Candle Haul. So between all my Homeworks candles and the, I've also ordered a few uh, Bath and Body Works candles for the fall. Um, and plus what I have already in my stash that I've not burned from last year, I am good for this winter, you know, fall, winter season. I won't be ordering anything else. Possibly that Woodland collection. That is really good. So um, hopefully this will have made your shopping a little bit easier. Um, and I hope everybody has a great night. I will see you soon. Bye.